Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Where it comes to love, we are going to have a shift of energy in terms of Jupiter moving into a new sign, as I spoke about in the general horoscope for this month, and as I speak about in the Jupiter special for your sign. So I'm going to suggest uh, that you have a look at that. However, with Jupiter's move into a new sign, Jupiter's been over the last year hanging out in a part of the sky that has to do with, it has to do with creativity, it has to do with joy, happiness, understanding what it is you need to self-actualize. It has to do with children as well, fertility, but also it has to do with love. It has to do with the flutter of love and feeling alive thanks to love. And I see this actually as a very strong time for you where you have learned a tremendous amount about yourself, where it comes to the feelings that love can inspire within you. But now, as Jupiter leaves this part of the sky, what I really like that's taking place for you is that Venus is going to enter this part of the sky. So it's not like you're going to feel all of a sudden, whoa, okay, something shifted and, you know, where was the love? Where is the love? I don't see that happening for you. What I actually see is a, a softening, a gentle awareness of what it is that you've learned over the last two years. So even though your ancient ruling planet is changing signs mid-month, because Venus is moving into that same part of the sky that Jupiter will leave, there is sort of an easing of energy. It isn't like ripping off a Band-Aid, but rather it is like a very slow move towards understanding what it is that you've actually gained where it comes to love and understanding yourself and understanding that you deserve somebody who just sees you and how bright you shine and wants to cherish that, that you actually deserve to feel a sense of lightness that life and love can bring when you are truly engaged and trust your joy and trust your instincts to lead you towards greater love. You get to demonstrate a lot of these lessons that you've learned in the last two weeks of this month. And so I find it a really encouraging time and a really important time. While Venus is moving through this part of the sky in the second half of the month, she is going to be speaking with several power players in the sky as part of activating the Cardinal Grand Cross. And this is a configuration I've been speaking about. If you want more information about this, please have a look at the weekly horoscopes, especially those I did back in April, where I really delved into the symbolism of this. But with Venus activating different power players in the sky at this key moment, it does suggest that you are going to get opportunities to really demonstrate that you learned something over the last year. You are going to get opportunities to demonstrate that you trust love. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you trust this person, but that you trust love. You trust that love is available to you. You trust that that softness is available to you. And you trust what it is ultimately that brings you joy and who it is that brings you joy as well. And as part of this learning, there is very likely to be somebody there in your sphere. And so if you are in an established bond, you have been encouraged over the last year to really um, nurture those things that brought you to this person to begin with. Nurture those initial understandings and initial connections that brought you to this person to begin with. And then with that, now that you've incorporated those lessons, start to really demonstrate it is what takes place for you in the later part of this month and start to demonstrate it even when it doesn't look so optimistic and even though it might at times not be so obvious what you would gain, still demonstrate that you understand what it means to truly have an open heart with your partner and to enjoy their company. Those of you who are... Um, have somebody sort of in your sphere. I do think that this is also about joy. It is also about fun. But I think this, this energy is likely to manifest for you a little bit differently where you see that this person enjoys certain things that you really don't. And so this could be a realization that this person is really, really into a type of music that you really don't like, which can be a problem. Just ask my musician brother. Um, it can also be an understanding that this person has a way of just enjoying life and thinking about pleasure and thinking about the good things in life in a way that is different than you do. And does that work for you? Does it not? You're going to be asking yourself these questions. I do think also that there's a measure of you out there, I got to say, 
If you are one of those people who's open to a serious relationship, someone you're hoping to actually have a child with one day, I do think that you're likely to be looking at this person and saying, is this somebody I really want to have a child with? Is this somebody who really I, I can see as being part of that picture or not? And so that's going to be a general question that's going to be there for you as well. And those of you who don't have anybody in your sphere right now, still, I do think the lessons are there and ultimately the lessons are going to come down to flirting, being open to flirting and having a sense of detachment when you do and not having over expectations really of this other person. So you enjoyed their company. You had a very nice exchange. You had a nice flutter and that's okay. Just leave it at that. You had this nice moment. If it's meant to be more, that will unfold in its own time. But for now, if it isn't, it's okay. There's something about just enjoying the moment and being with another person and having that exchange that can make you feel very beautiful, that can make you feel very alive. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, that is absolutely to be enjoyed. It is about bridging love and joy together this month. And it is about demonstrating that you understand how to do that. You have that knowledge, but more importantly, you have that experience over the last year. And now this month, you get to prove it. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.